Hi there, Pisces. This is Kim with your reading for your next 48 hours. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. Let's see. Let's get right into this reading. I'm going to pull from the Modern Love Tarot deck, uh, a Celtic cross for you. And we'll go from there. I do have the Hermetic Tarot that we can clarify with if we need to. Um, then I've got a couple of other Oracle decks that I have out. The Epiphany deck and the Sacred Signs and Symbols deck. Sagittarius. Heard Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Did you see this? It's just wanted to flip out. So of course we'll take a minute and we'll admire it and tell you what it's about. The Ten of Cups is like the uh, ultimate. It's it's go having gone through all the emotions to finally find that state of eternal bliss. Having all you want. Everybody's happy in this picture. Jeez. And the sun and the tower. What's going on? What is going on? Let's find out. Oh, shoot. <laughs> the Hierophant. Interesting. She's really Egyptian looking like. And then the Eye of Toth up there. And it now, all of those symbols represent one of the senses. Um, so you also have thought as being represented as one of the one of the senses here. You have the ear, touch, taste. Um, yeah, thought, sight, or vision. So. Something about your senses then. I'm, I'm getting, I'm picking up that you might want to do your research on the clairs, especially clairsentient in, in uh, particular. Um, oh, and by the way, what I do on this, uh, this channel is I channel for you. So any messages that come through, and sometimes they come through fast, uh, they're for you. <laughs> if you're watching this reading, then they're for you. From your spirit team, from your spirit guides, from your angels, your higher self. Yeah, I'm getting clairsentient. Oh, wow. Wow. And something about the Norse goddess or Vikings, the Norse goddess. Like which one? Because there's a lot. Two for the outcome. Beautiful. Oh, that's really beautiful. You're totally letting go of past hurt, loss, and sadness. Ace of, Ace of Wands. There's your magic wand. Jeez. And like I said, this Hierophant card is... Okay, it's coming... It's coming across to me as this energy of being very... Look, coming out of Five of Pentacles. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, it's coming across as like knowledge. Be, either you being very knowledgeable or getting more knowledge when it comes to spiritual things having more spiritual gifts like so when it comes to that that's coming into they are going to help you get through a temporary time it feels like a big crisis but what it is is the shifting of energies during the shifting of energies when more light comes in sometimes there is this chaos while everything gets settled there's more advancement now than ever in a shorter amount of time all right, and so you're coming up to a big completion here where you had been overloaded, um, we could even say burdened with this Ten of Wands energy. This is just really like working so hard. You're doing the best that you can and you're giving it your all. And there's nothing really bad to say about it because we all get those points in our life where we have to work very, very hard uh, because everyone is going through a tough time. 
but you have, I mean, you have your spirit team on your side. Look at all this yellow, that enlightenment. That's beautiful. And the Ace of Wands is so nice. I love the Ace of Wands here. It, it's another card that has um, a sunflower in it. So you have the sunflowers a few times. This one says, love more, love more. Six of Pentacles in the reverse is the challenge. People helping one another. Somebody might owe you, and when they do owe you, it will release some burdens on you that you have right now. So that is about releasing uh, this extra work that you've been doing because it feels like we've had to put more on our shoulders than maybe we should. You feel like there are some situations here that you are not happy with. <laughs> That there's some people that we're not getting along with that maybe our chemistry doesn't match. There's something where there's an offer or somebody around you and it doesn't, it, I don't think you're going to move forward with the offer. I don't think you, you think it's genuine or fair, but at the heart of the matter is because there's something new, new passionate beginnings that want to begin. This even can be with career here because I mean, I see her and it looks like she's at work. Or she's just got everything is about work with her. Past energy has you possibly waiting here. Like this person's waiting by the phone. As above, so below, doing the inner work. So we see it on the outside too. Tell me about this hangman with the kipper deck. The courthouse. Waiting. See, waiting on a verdict or a judgment. Quite possibly. Maybe for a new adventure to start. Tell me what else about the, let's go with this, um, Ace of Wands. Ooh. You are waiting. Some of you all are just majorly waiting for someone's marriage to be wrapped up or for yours to be officially wrapped up so that you could proceed with seeing somebody or having a new, a chance of thought of being new, like something new, a new beginning. Because something here is challenging because it wasn't an equal give and take. Sometimes the Six of Pentacles can be, if it's in the reverse, something that's just not reciprocal. You're giving more than the other person, possibly. And then I have six mature women. Maybe we didn't get along with somebody's in-law, with your in-laws. Or this person is helping Okay, so this could be somebody helping. Maybe mediator, counselor, lawyer. You're calling in. I don't know if you know this or not, but you are calling in your soulmate energy. I have courtship and I have the six of cups. If it's not that, this is some kind of major opportunity, but it's with within like dreamy situations. Family, strengthening the family, letting go of group losses, not just an individual loss. This was group. Tell me about temperance in reverse. That's the you spot. Oh, <laughs> not getting along with someone because they're fake. <laughs> because you think they're fake. You think that, and, and I'm not... I'm not meaning a persona or anything. I'm meaning like this person is not nice to you and then they're nice to you in front of this person's face. So it looks like someone's not telling the truth, but they're a false person. And it can be a false twin flame too. The energy of like, well, I thought this was the right person, but it might not be. So this person might be represented by the Queen of Wands in reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Wands in reverse. It's the main female. That, oh, okay. It was the main female that interfered. It might have even been a friend, a previous friend, who is who might have even acted concerned but they weren't really concerned. They were just trying to, I don't know, move in on some kind of territory. They weren't, they weren't offering you truth and they weren't helping you 
move forward. Okay, I know this isn't going to be for everybody, obviously, because it's a little bit specific, but that's what I've got so far. This is a Leo energy here with the sun. Tell us more about it. Ready to surrender. Ready to surrender. Shining the light on why we're not moving forward because we're ready to surrender. There is a deep spiritual awakening underway with the Empress energy and whoever this person is. This person is maybe deciding they want to fix things. They want to repair something, rebuild, construct. They are not who they were in the past, and they're ready to relieve some burdens. This could be you. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so the Queen of Wands needs to be upright because then it's bold and brave and kind of like having inspired action. But at the moment, the thing that's going to help you with this ace of wands to actually seize an opportunity is to struggle it's struggling to overcome limiting beliefs so when you can get out of your head of like i can't do this i can't you know that self-talk that doesn't help you um that is what's going to help you bring your bring your magic back it's not that it's gone it's just that if you don't use it or go forward with action, inspired action, then nothing moves forward. So that's what was happening here is something was just kind of running in place and getting getting into a hole and then not able to go anywhere. Tell me, that, and then the Empress is beautiful. That's like a mother energy or the energy to birth anything to life. She is really um, fertile. She's able to get things done. Severing or cutting ties, scissor. It, it quite, it might be the um, coming back together, though. For some, it's coming back together here to repair and fix. Some of you have been waiting for this deal, this courthouse deal. Tell me about the Empress, more about the Empress. No distance will keep us apart and think the impossible, the unexpected, and that has a pregnant lady, which the Empress can mean pregnancy too. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Still working on it, on moving forward. Possibly the main female here in this story. I, I got somebody might be coming to you for advice here about this. Or about something from the past, a past issue, addressing an issue from the past that was very hurtful, releasing sadness, calculator, financial strain, money problems, or survival, locked door, impenetrable, block it, impenetrable blockage, and closed off. I think you might have to be calculating here, maybe set a budget. Something is just, they're saying to do more investigating. There's a different kind of situation with no ordinary love. And something is about to, with this sun card, something is about to be revealed or a light shown on how to move forward. Once again, not your typical love story. Something brand new is wanting to come in here. This might be a time where you feel like there's a struggle, but we're moving out of that. And we're ready to surrender to the way that spirit wants to bring this in for you. Hard to say goodbye is in the reverse. Rocking horse, childhood trauma, early influences, and the need to wake up. Somebody is at a crossroads. That's what I got for you guys. That's what I got. Let's close out your reading with some fairy dust, Pisces. Hope you enjoyed that. Got something from it. Thanks for joining me as always. Trust. Breathe in and breathe out and let go of doubt. Friends, all the love your light extends, its reflection is in chosen friends. Gratitude. Everything will be all right. Fairies dance in your delight. Portals. Where do we play? In nature, that's where the garden gate will take you there. We'll take you there. That's what I got. Sending you love and light. Bye-bye.